Hello fungi and welcome to the first channel about fungi. Today we are going to talk about fungal chlamydospores. Chlamydospores are sexual structures produced by certain fungi under unfavorable environmental conditions. Despite the fact that chlamydospore has spore at the end of the word traditionally associated with the reproductive function, chlamydospores primarily serve as vital survival mechanism. These specialized structures enable the fungi to endure and persist through challenging circumstances, ensuring the long-term survival even when faced with adverse surroundings. The formation of fungal chlamydospores is influenced by a variety of environmental factors that can be species-specific. These factors exert conditions that are often incompatible with the normal physiological processes of certain species of fungus. These environmental triggers can include changes in temperature and lightning, drug treatment, the presence of specific chemical signals from the fungal host, humidity, nutrient availability, pH level, and osmolarity. The complex interplay of these factors initiates a cascade of molecular and cellular events within the fungus, leading to the development of chlamydospores as a survival strategy. Chlamydospores are round structures with thick walls that enclose a condensed cytoplasm. Very often, cell wall of chlamydospores contains melanin, which provides additional protection from oxidative stress and UV radiation. The cytoplasm is rich in nutrients, serving as a food reserve for the fungus. When environmental conditions become favorable, the fungus can utilize these nutrient-packed chlamydospores to support its growth and development. Chlamydospores are specialized structures of fungi exhibit a versatile distribution within the hyphae. They can be located in two primary positions, intercalary or terminal. Intercalary chlamydospores are situated along the length of the hyphae. This type of chlamydospore location is typical for plant pathogenic fungus Fusarium oxysporum. They play a crucial role in the long-term survival of fungi during unfavorable periods in the soil and act as the primary inoculum facilitating the infection of plants. Terminal, single, or multiple chlamydospores are found at the end of hyphae in, for instance, candida species. It's fascinating that certain parameters of chlamydospore formation possess diagnostic significance in the medical mycologic laboratory. For example, chlamydospore serves as a valuable tool for distinguishing closely related species of human pathogenic yeast such as Candida albicans and Candida dubliniensis. Here is the microscopy pictures of Candida dubliniensis and Candida albicans grown on stape agar. As we can see, Candida dubliniensis has multiple terminal chlamydospores, while Candida albicans show single terminal chlamydospores. In general, chlamydospore formation in Candida dubliniensis is more abundant than in Candida albicans. In addition, chlamydospore carrying filaments appear generally shorter in Candida dubliniensis than in Candida albicans. I find it mesmerizing how people use fungi's unique properties for farming. For example, chlamydospore production has been used to control nematode infections in grazing animals. Helminths, including nematodes or round worms, are common parasites found in grazing animals, and their presence can impact the health and productivity of livestock. Grazing animals engulf the infective stage of nematodes, also known as larvae, from the pasture. Larvae can persist in humid conditions on the grass and in the soil awaiting the main host animal. Once a grazing animal ingests contaminated vegetation, the infected larvae penetrate the host's gut wall and migrate to various organs and tissues. Inside the host, the larvae mature into adult nematodes, leading to reproduction and egg release. The cycle continues as the adult nematodes release eggs into the host intestine, which are then passed out in the animal feces. Under favorable conditions, the egg hatch, releasing larvae, completing the cycle and starting the process anew. The key concept in the preventing nematode infections lies in disrupting the worm's life cycle. Unfortunately, antihelminthic drug resistance continue to increase in parasitic nematode populations around the globe, and alternative treatment methods continue to gain importance. One of the solutions could be chlamydospores of the fungus Dedinctonia flagrans. Dedinctonia flagrans is a predatory fungus that has the ability to grow in fecal pads, persist on pasture, and form trapping structure in the presence of nematodes, capturing and digesting larval stages. It targets parasites in the environmental life cycle stage 
thereby preventing infections. This fungus forms chlamydospores that are capable of surviving the digestive tract of the host. Supplementation of food with chlamydospores will deliver the fungus directly to the fecal pads, where the fungus will grow and digest hatching larvae. The life cycle of parasitic nematodes will be discontinued, preventing the next cycle of infection. In addition, fungus has a minimal environmental impact and a broad range of potential targets in both ruminant and non-ruminant host species.